Welcome to the Eastfield Minute. My name is Courtney Carter Harbor, and I'm the Executive Dean of the Office of Student Engagement and Retention at Eastfield College. It is my pleasure to be your final completion champion as we count down to the 2014 Eastfield College Commencement Ceremony. The ceremony will be held this Saturday at the Curtis Cowell Center in Garland. For those of you that are graduating now or will be in the next year, this countdown minute is for you. Today's countdown minute is a graduate checklist. The checklist includes last minute commencement ceremony details, graduate semester wrap up, and information to prepare students who will be considered graduates in the near future. A few last minute commencement ceremony details include, be sure that you have purchased your cap gown and Eastfield tassel from the bookstore. Remember to distribute your ceremony tickets to your guests. All guests who are three years of age and older need a ticket at the Curtis Cowell Center in Garland. We expect for all graduates to arrive at the graduate ballroom in the center at 3 p.m. for check-in and a dress rehearsal for the ceremony. Make sure that you come dressed professionally with your cap and gown on. Lastly, do not bring anything with you that can be left in the graduate ballroom. Next, here's a quick to-do list to help you wrap up your end of the semester business. Review and verify the completion of your degree or certificate requirements with an advisor. Summer graduates, remember to submit your online graduation application starting May 19th and until July 15th. Satisfy all financial obligations such as financial aid, perk blocks, and any other outstanding debt. Graduates, make sure to complete the online survey about your experiences at Eastfield. Check out the career resources made available at the college to assist you in your job search. Like the Eastfield Alumni Facebook page. We definitely would like to keep up with you and your accomplishments. Watch what other Eastville graduates have planned for their next step. Graduate Aaron Fields interviewed several grads about their future plans. My name is Reggie. Okay, Reggie, uh, since you're graduating at the end of the semester, what are you gonna do after you graduate? I'd like to go to nursing school. Uh, my name is Edgar Rodriguez, and what else? The Police Academy. Oh, the Police Academy? Nice, okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go to uh, University of Texas in Arlington, and I'm going to go try to get a bachelor's in civil engineering. What exactly are you going to do now? I am actually transferring to TWU, and I start there in the fall. Um, after that, um, I plan on getting my bachelor's in uh, biology, and from there probably working at a zoo, since I'm studying zoology. So. I plan on transferring to UT Arlington. These last bits of information are specifically for those potential graduates that will be completing their coursework next fall or spring. Decide when you are officially graduating. You want to make sure that you apply for graduation during the start of the semester that you plan to graduate in. Begin to ask about and collect recommendation letters from your professors. Develop a portfolio of your college work and document your involvement in campus activities. Prepare your resume and cover letter for career professionals or for your professors to review. Create a new professional email account that you can use to correspond with those potential employers. Here's some advice from students just like you that are graduating now. What are y'all advice for future graduates and students? Study hard, work hard, and play hard. It's never too old to go to school, ever. Don't give up. Stay committed and stay motivated and don't let nothing get in your way. Get involved in the school, make the most of it, um, just try your hardest in class and you'll do well. Uh, study hard, um, oh, wow, I don't even know, study hard. <laughs> What's some of your advice for future graduate students? Um, just don't give up, talk to your teachers, interact, mingle, and do it. What were some of your favorite moments at Eastfield College? Meeting my, meeting new people. Yeah. Like myself? You're one of them and my friend Nelda over there. <laughs> Being a part of SGA, Men's Empowerment, I, I feel like I got more involved than I, than I was in high school, so yeah, I felt pretty good. 
I played for soccer for two years here at Eastfield. Um, a lot of um, good games and that was really awesome for me just being out uh, playing on the field. Oh, there are too many to name. Uh, <laughs> um, I worked as a student orientation leader and I think that was pretty fun because I got to actually interact with new students coming in. Some of my favorite moments here at Eastville College were working work study in the financial aid office woo -woo, and just interacting with people and getting my education. Did you enjoy interacting with me? No. no. Uh, one last thing, between a soccer match, me and you, who will win? I haven't seen you play soccer, but I think I will win. <laughs> Here's a countdown task. Choose three items that you heard from the graduate checklist that you plan to remember and complete. Post these three items on the Eastfield Facebook page. The first five students to post their three items from the checklist will win a prize. Thanks for your participation in our Countdown to Commencement series. Best of luck in your future endeavors. All right, hello everybody. We also have another student. His name is Aaron Fields. He's the president of the Men's Empowerment Coalition. He's going to answer us a few questions. So, Aaron, let me just start off by saying that was some nice shoes you have on right there. I love them. Look nice, by the way. Uh, my first question to you is that uh, after you graduate, what are some of your plans after your graduation? Hey, you know, that's a really good question. Um, basically, after I graduate, I'm going to go ahead and transfer over to UTD and pursue my major in speech and language pathology. Uh, what are some of your advice for future students who are going to graduate or students who are not going to graduate and they're still in school? My advice for students and future graduates is that not only you have to keep studying, but you make sure that you press forward and always keep a smile on your face too because they always say that the more you smile, the likely you are to succeed. So not only study, but always keep that smile on your face, okay? I promise you, you'll get where you need to be.